Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Dee Dee and welcome to my channel. Anyways, today's video is just Tip Tuesdays and what I am showing you is a little tidbit on what to do if you just installed the update on Manga Studio or Clip Paint Studio. Now what you do is you click that cool little button on the top that's near um, the save button on your Mega Studio and then this new window is going to pop up and then what you see here is you have to make a login now it's so really easy to do the login you can easily click on there when the window pops up to create a login um, it's free so there you go now the assets file pops up and now this is amazing so make sure that you're logged in because then it's going to sync to your manga studio or clip paint studio and what you see they have different tags they have brushes drawings figures templates even 3d models and other cool neat things along with a uh, software like the clip studio um paint pro and x ex uh along with clip studio debut um i personally have clip paint studio pro because i used to have manga studio pro so that's what it is so let's say i want to go to brushes and want to get a new brushes now you can easily just look at what's new here which is super cool because they have a lot of things that are new or you can just go to the top and click brushes and then automatically all the new brushes or all the brushes that they have in here will pop out of nowhere well not nowhere but they'll pop up and then you could just scroll down and pick whatever brush you like now again if you're using stuff for copyright issues they do have um stuff that you you can use for um, commercial use but just regular you know look for that so now I'm gonna click on this brush right here I've been eyeing this one since last time and yes everything is in Japanese but you can click this button right here and it says view translation now sometimes the translations are really bad um, the last time I read one it was super horrible but this one actually seems okay so I'm just reviewing the brush now sometimes I have a description of what the brush is or even just a little hint and stuff and it has a preview of the brush and what it looks like so then you go up and um, sometimes it's just good to review everything and make sure you can use it for commercial use or stuff like that but with brushes I'm sure you can't now I like to favorite my thing this is why it's important to have a login and then you go ahead and click the download button now as you can see on the top a little number popped up with the little two arrows facing each other you click on that and as you can see the it's downloading so now what you do is you um, go here to where the settings is okay so <clears throat> you go to that settings button and then actually you go back to Mega Studio and you see we're in materials folder and um, it will be in the downloads folder where it says materials. Now as you can see mine automatically went in. Now I know at first it probably doesn't go all the way in and the instructions doesn't really tell you what to do so it took me forever to figure it out so you go back to your assets folder and you go up to um, make sure you don't delete your completed files and you go to settings make sure you click this button right here this is the settings and you go all the way down to where it says sync all materials downloaded in the cloud this button right here make sure you sync that i'm not gonna press it because i already synced all mine um sometimes you might have to sync a couple of files um but sometimes it might you just have to um re-upload but remember sync all materials downloaded in cloud now once you do that it's going to take a couple of minutes and then you go back to your downloads folder and as you can see it'll be there now um sometimes you might have to do it once or twice but that should definitely help I hope this video helped you out because, um, yeah, it took me forever and I know this download is just, the update is brand new and so it's very difficult. As you can see here, um, another folder, uh, a brush that I downloaded made its own folder. I don't know why, but 
at least is in the materials in the download folder as you can see where the ones we popped up is right there so and then what you do next because if you don't know, even though it does explain it in the instructions on the website. Now, um, you got to give <laughs> your Mega Studio a, like a little bit for it to think. Mine takes a little bit to think sometimes. So, uh, you just got to wait like maybe one or two, three seconds. And there you go. So, what you do now, you go to the file um, folder that you want to put it in. You drag it and you click on it. Give it a couple of minutes or at least a couple of seconds and then like I said give it a couple of seconds then you go down and it should be right where you have it so there you go folks that is how you do the new materials and have the new button and the new update for clip studio paint slash manga studio so I hope this video was very helpful for you guys please like and subscribe to this channel and make sure you check out all the Just a Tip Tuesdays every Tuesday. Bye, guys. Love you.